Hello everyone and welcome to today's bilingual story time with the Putnam County District Library. Hola y bienvenidos a nuestra hora de cuentos bilingue con la Putnam County District Library. Let's begin with our Eyes Are Watching song. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, mouth is closed, hands are still, feet are very quiet, you should really try it, listening well listening well. Vamos a mirar, vamos a escuchar, con boca cerrada y manos tranquilas. Los pies quietos, debes probarlo. Escuchen bien, escuchen bien. Today I am going to sing you a song from Mexico. It is a folkloric song. Voy a cantarles una canción folclórica desde México que se llama De Colores. It is called De Colores or in English, All the Colors. I'm going to sing it first in Spanish. So just listen and then after I can teach you the words in English. Okay, it goes like this. De colores, de colores se visten los campos en la primavera. De colores, de colores son los pajaritos que vienen de afuera. De colores, de colores es el arco iris que vemos lucir. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. All the colors, all the colors that one sees around the country in springtime. All the colors, all the colors of the birds that fly back from afar. All the colors, all the colors is the rainbow that we all can see. And for that, the great love of colors, so many colors is pleasant to me. And for that, the great love of colors, so many colors is pleasant to me. Can we try it together in English? Let's do it. You can do the hand motions with me. All the colors, all the colors that one sees around the country in springtime. All the colors, all the colors of the birds that fly back from afar. All the colors, all the colors is the rainbow that we all can see. And for that, the great love of colors, so many colors is pleasant to me. And for that, the great love of colors, so many colors is pleasant to me. Let's try it one more time in Spanish and you can do the hand motions with me. See if you can figure out some of the words. De colores. De colores se visten los campos en la primavera. De colores, de colores son los pajaritos que vienen de afuera. De colores, de colores es el arco iris que vemos lucir. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. I hope you like that song. It is one of my favorite songs to sing. Okay, es el momento del cuento. It is time for our story. And here to help tell it today with me is Mari. Mari is una mariposa monarca, a monarch butterfly. Can everyone say hola Mari? Hola Mari, hola niños. Mari is her nickname because her full name, Mariposa Monarca, is a little bit long and hard to say, right? 
So maripo mariposa means butterfly and monarca means monarch. So sometimes the word order in Spanish is flipped. We say monarch butterfly, but they actually say butterfly monarch. Mariposa monarca. Mari has a really interesting life story and she's here to help tell us about it. Mari begins as a tiny egg or huevo. Can you see it there? It is very small. It is right here. So the picture makes the egg look bigger than it is, but in real life, it's only about like this big. It's very small. Her mother laid her underneath the leaf of a plant called milkweed or algodoncillo in Spanish. It looks like this. Can you see this flower here underneath? So that is called milkweed or algodoncillo. So Mari had more than 300 brothers and sisters all laid in eggs under the algodoncillo as well. So we used to have lots of milkweed that grew all over the place in ditches and next to roads and in fields. But here in the Eastern United States, her habitat is being destroyed very quickly. So if you want to help mariposas like Mari, you can actually get seeds and plant milkweed at home. Then the butterflies can come and stay with you for a little while on their migration journey. So, Mari hatched from a tiny, tiny huevo, a tiny egg like this. But she didn't look like herself yet, not even close. When she hatched, she was a tiny oruga verde, or green caterpillar, only two millimeters long. So, very small but she was a hungry, tiny caterpillar. What does it mean when we feel hungry? Our body is telling us that we should eat, right? And that's what Mari did. All she did was eat. Monarch caterpillars also eat the algodoncillo that their eggs are laid on. They eat as much as they can get. So if you plant milkweed, you could be feeding the monarchs as well. So, Mari the oruga ate and ate and ate from her algodoncillo or her milkweed plant. And she grew and grew and grew. She didn't do much else besides eat and grow, eat and grow, because she understood that something big was about to happen to her. She finally reached full size, which is about five centimeters or almost three inches long. And she had changed from verde, green, to stripes, of negra y amarilla, black and yellow. Can you see her there? There she is. She also grew to have six piernas, six legs, and she walked around on four of her legs. She held the other two legs up near her head, and it often looked like she was waving at the other caterpillars nearby. Can you wave like a caterpillar? Wave like Mari, hello. Eventually, Mari knew that she would have to move forward in her journey. She stopped eating and focused on finding un lugar seguro, a safe place to transform. It was time. She found a nice sturdy twig and hung upside down. And then she curled her head up toward her belly. She waited in this position until her chrysalis, her chrysalida, formed around her. What's a chrysalis? It looks like this. It's this crazy looking green thing right here. That's her chrysalis, her chrysalida. It's like a case that goes around the caterpillar with no holes for eyes or legs or anything to move. Mari waited in her chrysalis without moving for dos semanas, two weeks. That's a long time to hang upside down, right? After dos semanas, Mari began to pop out of her chrysalis, but she had gone through a huge change. Cambio mucho. She looked very different. She had alas, wings. She slowly, slowly broke free of the chrysalis, taking her time. Even when she was completely out, she sat and rested for a couple of hours, waiting for her wings to dry. 
They cannot fly too early. They have to wait until their wings are completely dry before they can fly. Eventually, sus alas had completely dried and reached their full height and wingspan. She was hermosa, beautiful. Here she is. And she was still hungry. Now, Mari was ready to eat but she no longer ate the algodoncillo, the milkweed. Instead, she sucked up liquid nectar through her proboscis, which is like a long curly tongue that works like a straw. Can you suck up like a straw? Nectar is like juice, but from flowers. It's full of nutrients, good stuff, so Mari can survive on it. Mari is now an adult Mariposa Monarca. Here she is. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her big wings. When it's time for the monarchs to migrate, Mari will spend her life flying many miles, heading either north or south, depending on the season. You can see in this neat map. This is a map of the United States and you can see the patterns that the butterflies fly. So they go up and up, and then they also come down when it's time for winter. So thanks for learning about the fascinating life cycle of Mari, the Mariposa Monarca. Can you tell the kids, gracias, Mari? She says gracias, she's shy sometimes. Can you tell Mari gracias? Gracias, Mari. Thank you, Mari, for coming. De nada. Well, that's all for today, guys. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Can we sing our goodbye song? Let's do it. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Es hora de decir adiós. Es hora de decir adiós. Es hora de decir, es hora de decir, es hora de decir adiós. Adiós, mis amigos. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for watching. Gracias por mirar.